Welcome to the Armenian Museum of America. I'm Gary Lynn Zananian, the curator. And I'm here today to share some artifacts and a, another <clears throat> figure from Armenian culture, which is often overlooked today. And these are <clears throat> Yanov de Hagopian. Yanov was a singer and artist. Uh, he uh, was one of the first people to record Armenian village music in America. We, there's been a lot of interest recently in some of the great Armenian singers of the early 20th century. Shah Muradian, of course, the most, most famous, and he was a trained opera singer. And uh, Zabel Panosian, Madame Zabel, was another famous singer. And this is a new book that just came out about her. Uh, by Ian, this is written by Harut Arakelian, Harry Kizelian, and Ian Nagoski. And the, this book is about Madame Zabel and also includes recording of her in it. So her songs are recorded for the person. Uh, and last year, another book came out very similar, which was The Armenians in America. And this is dealing with many different artists and biographies of them. This is by the Our uh, Dinkchen Foundation archive. And in the back of it, it again, there are sound recordings of, of some of the various artists. And among the artists listed in this book is Yenov Zahagopian. Yenov Zahagopian was born in Vaughan. He was a, a, actually a close friend of Arshil Gorky. They only lived about six miles apart, their villages, and they played together. And when, they, the, uh, and he went, and when he came to America, he was an artist. He worked here, lived here in Watertown for a while and uh, joined Gorky working in the factory here. And this is one of Yenov's works. And Yenov uh, was best known as, a, as an artist, but Today, he's probably better known for his music than his art. And that Yenov released a series of eight records. Uh, these are the two sets here of the, of the records. And Yenov was a, um, a folk singer, basically an Ashug and folk songs. His father had been a, was an Ashug when he was young. And his father would travel from village to village performing. And later on, uh, he became a deer high. The, uh, but the... Yenov would sing these songs, and these are in the original dialect. And this, this was considered remarkable when people first heard this because the songs that American musicologists heard were people like Madame uh, Zabel or Shah Maradian, who were trained singers, you know, as far as their vocal style. Yenov was not a trained singer, he was simply a folk singer. And that was remarkable hearing these. And these, so these records were released by Yenov in the 1940s, and then George Avakian uh, from Columbia Records released, put the, all these records on an LP. And this LP was released uh, in the 1960s. The, uh, and, but these are records of this man. And one of the uh, references you would find of Yenab de Hagopian is when you read biographies of Ashil Gorky. Ashil Gorky uh, was known for, for dancing. And the only music he would dance to would be Yenov's dance. He would play Yenov's music and he would dance as he heard the music uh, being played. Uh, they, they, were sang, they spoke the same dialect. And so this is the old Vaughan dialect that both of them used. And in our museum's collection, we have, of course, the original recordings by Yenov and the LP. And we have a few paintings, too. Uh, most of his paintings are actually... Uh, the, the, uh, the Bishop Gallery in New York City is the executor of Yenov's estate. And they, they have the paintings of Yenov uh, there at the uh, gallery. Uh, but we have a, f a few of them in our collection as well. Our Media Museum is here to share our history, our culture, our stories with you, the public. Uh, we're open Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, 12 to 6. We have many programs and events, uh, both virtual and real. If you go to our website, you'll uh, find them there. Uh, until next time, stay safe.